everyone, it's UAC, or Ultimate Alliance Conquest, and as some solar players and lots of lunar players have already participated in this event, but I wanted to go over some things that I've noticed for better gameplay. To start, we will talk about ore house placement. This alliance has a pretty good setup right now. Um, it is more or less on the outskirts of the hive, which you can do, but um, each ore house has about a two stronghold width radius. So what you can do, uh, same as a tower really, but what you can do is you can place an ore house, have two strongholds, let's just use these as an example. So ore house here, stronghold, stronghold, and then ore house there, and then stronghold, stronghold, ore house. So really, it's good to have your ore houses in a tight group among higher level strongholds. That way it's easier to defend and invaders have longer to, to travel when they're attacking. Even though most people will be porting out of the hive and invaders can sometimes port next to an ore house, you still want to have a tight grouping and then fill in anybody that's leaving with, with camps if you can. When you start the event, if you're not ready to go out and plunder, then you can start by reinforcing your own ore houses. So right now I am in this ore house and this is just a farm alliance. So we're not doing that great. We've only got about maybe five or six people that are playing. Um, but we are in third place out of four kingdoms. <laughs> not bad, <laughs> just not great. So um, my troops are here. I'm currently defending ore. Now, there's only 30,000 ore being protected, and um, it cannot go any lower than that. Uh, so even though we have no ore to be plundered, by, by invaders, I'm still gaining points by defending the ore that's in that storehouse. So again, you do get points by defending your ore houses, but you get better points by attacking other ore houses and stealing other kingdoms or other alliances ore. So from the event page, what you can do is if you don't have any troops out, you can just enter the kingdom. I can't because I still have troops out, but you can just enter the kingdom and it will place you near the ore houses as close as it can get. Or you can go down to the Clarent Ore here. And you can take a look and you can see the different alliances that you're up against. And you can see here how much ore is in each of their ore houses and whether or not they're defending or it will say defending, uh, enemy plundering, sometimes it'll say ally plundering, or um, what else does it say? Nobody plundering. So since there's nobody plundering over in Arm in this storehouse, they've got a lot of ore in some of these ore houses. So I'm going to go and attack, even though I know I'll die really quickly. While my troops return, I'm just looking at this other kingdom. They have a pretty good ore house set up. They have their alliance 
mixed within their ore houses, as well as some farms on the outskirts. So if I try to go to this ore house here, it's going to take me far away. So I teleport. And the ore house that I tried to go to is over here. <laughs> And since I don't have very many troops, I'm just going to send some cavalry. We'll see how fast I die. Okay, so now I am currently plundering there. If we go back to the event page, we can now see ally plundering. That's me. Going to one of the ore houses that I'm in, it will show you the amount that's, that you've plundered and the amount remaining and how much you're plundering by the, by the minute. These will show you the different uh, defense and plundering benefits. So when you're attacking somebody in an ore house or they're attacking you, you have a little bit different stats than you normally would. And this is based on how much ore you have in your storehouse. So because their ore is over the limit, the attacker has better benefits. But if theirs was under the limit, then um, their defense would be, would be better. If you're actively sitting in a defense tower and maybe every once in a while you go and try to plunder or you can gain points pretty easily. Um, I have done pretty much the bare minimum. We attacked a few times last night and died horribly <laughs> and then um i sat in a tower as long as i could our own tower defending as long as i could and i've uh i've maxed out my points what's nice about it is that um no resources can be plundered and all of your troops return back to you a hundred percent after uh after the event is over so going to your hospital and the kingdom hospital, this is where all of your troops end up for this event. Um, it is purely a gold heal or time heal. So if you want more troops, you either have to wait or spend gold to instant heal. The other troops are from previous hits. These are the rewards for UAC for each alliance and individual based on rank. Uh, normally, um, you only get paired with four other um, alliances or kingdoms. And so even if you're in fifth place, your alliance gets rewards. So make sure you at least get um, some points, individual points. Um, that way you can hopefully get a chest or at least these individual rewards. Now this page, uh, again, shows the different warehouses for the different alliances and where they are, but, uh, it also shows the different benefits. So as I said, <clears throat> if it's over the limit, then the alliance plundering gets better benefits. Um, but then if you go here, you can see the defense benefits are way higher than alliance plundering benefits because there's pretty much no ore there. If you look at ours, we have a little bit of ore because I was just plundering. And so the stats are changed there. So 
So these top two alliances have been pretty active. I think I'm just going to leave this kingdom so I can just go home. I did a little damage. <laughs> Not very much, but I did some and I'm going to go. <laughs> I'll feel better about that. I mean, it's farm, but anyway, let's go home. Okay, going back to this page for the final time. <laughs> um, on the left here, you can see the points that each alliance has. And then it's got, for the top one here, plus 222 per minute. That is how many points that they're accruing per minute. So arm have 183 points per minute. We have 38 per minute and raw have 36. Now you can see that no one is plundering and um, no one's getting points in raw. So 36 points per minute is your baseline as well as a hundred no yeah 180,000 ore is also your baseline so we have just a little bit more um because I was just plundering and so um we have a little bit more points per minute and a little bit more ore now this can change um, throughout the event, of course, with the more ore or less ore that you have, and that's how you move through through the alliance ranks for your actual alliance. I believe the upper limit is a hundred thousand ore, and so you can see these guys have way way more. Each ore house building capacity is 100,000, but you can have over the limit, which is why some of these alliances have red buildings and some have green. Green is within normal limits. The higher the ore a building has, the faster the ore gather rate will be. So at 193,000. The gathering speed is 1,931 per minute. With 118,000, the gathering speed is 1,189 per minute. At our levels, 31,000, the gathering speed is 317 per minute. But as you can see for this one, which is at the baseline, there's no gathering speed. It completely cuts off. So you want to hit those higher ore houses if you can. As it says right here, the more ore you have, the faster you gain points. There is one more spot where you can see the Alliance Conquest information, and it's over here. You can see your personal score, how many rewards you've gotten, or how many points. Which kingdom you're currently in, the um, alliances and their score, and then drop down you can view their clarent ore from here. You can teleport if you didn't have troops out. Or you can just look at their location. So this will tell you the um, location of each individual player. If somebody's being a particular bully, you could click on them and click track. So let's see. I know Red Ranger has kind of been um, hitting us a lot. <laughs> So I activated tracking by spending a thousand gold and this will be current um, current coordinates for all players at a specific time and then it will expire within an hour. So let's say I wanted to see where this person was. 
I would need to be in their kingdom in order to um, click on it and track it. And I'm not going to because I don't want to move again, but uh, you get the idea. That's all the information I have for Ultimate Alliance Conquest. I hope it is helpful to you. As always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments and I'll be sure to reply. Thanks for watching. King of Avalon, play now.